And uh, we thank the social preachers for their carrying on in my efforts. Thank God for them. Don't have to go outside now. We'll preach it because God has blessed us to have. Good preachers right here. In our midst. Amen. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. Mm. Psalms 92, verses 12 through 14. Amen. You have it? Yes. Don't look at the screen. The righteous shall flourish like the psalm tree. Palm tree. Palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Amen. They shall still, they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for this song. And I pray that you would bless delivery of it through this preached word. Grant, O oh God, that we'll understand the value of, of, of both the psalm and what you said. Say in this psalm to those who are connected with you. Bless those that understand the sound of my voice today. And I pray, God, that you will speak a word to them. And they'll leave knowing that they have been in your presence. Anoint afresh for this preaching moment. And we ask it in Jesus' name. And for his sake we pray. Amen. 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 I want to talk about the song of the righteous. All right. Amen. This is a song for the righteous. All right. Song for I understand that. When you talk about being righteous, that most of us don't understand. Amen. Amen. We we immediately assume that they're talking about, you know, things that you should not do or things you should do and all this kind of stuff. But Doing or not doing is not what makes you righteous that's acceptable in the sight of God. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is the standard for some people. You know, they, they go by what you do or what you don't do as if they don't ever sin. All right, right. But we know better. Amen? We, 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 we know well. We know that's not necessarily true. That's because you sit on the first pew, or the second pew for that matter, doesn't mean that you're righteous. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No, no. No, no. That's, that's, not, that's not the case. Amen. You, you, you are righteous because you, some folks think you're righteous because you hold office. Right. In the local church, uh, cause your activity uh, uh, within the frame of the church, but that's not what makes you righteous. Yeah, yeah. Amen. The word righteous in the Hebrew is sadek, which means it, it carries a definition which is connected to to the word of God. It, it's one who keeps the covenant. Or the word. It is a direct contrast of verse 8 in this psalm. In the psalm that David refers to uh, as the wicked. Yeah. It suggests that you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. And that's what's required. You have to make a decision to be righteous or to be wicked. Amen. All right. Hello, somebody. And that's all you can do is make the decision. Right. Yeah. Because the Bible says our righteousness is as what? Filthy rags. Filthy rags. So nothing we can do in 
tell me the righteousness that's going to make us acceptable to God. Amen. But it is and has to do with our relationship to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You can you can you can be one of the righteous, be counted among the righteous. God has to number you, has to be, you have to be numbered among the righteous. And God has to do that. Amen. Amen. He does not want to have, have you be his just on Sunday morning. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. You must be his seven days a week. Yes, Every day. 24-7. Right. I, I know that some folk don't get right this till Sunday. <laughs> I'm very much aware, you know. And it always kind of gets me because it tells me where they are, spiritually speaking, and where their heart is. They say things like, don't do that. Don't you know you in church? <laughs> that lets you know where they stand. Listen, you are the church. And wherever you go, if you don't try to live upright before God, no matter where you are, amen, God sees you. Amen. Don't just, just trying to be, do and live right in church, that don't amount to anything. Amen. No, no. God, the Bible says that, that all things are open and naked before God right. with whom we have to do. You don't hide from God. Amen. You don't hide from God. What, whatever you do in church, whatever you do outside the church, God sees it. Amen. He sees your heart. He, he, he knows what's going on. Yeah, you, you, you can choose to be among the righteous or you can choose to be among the, among the wicked. And let me parenthetically throw this in. I help somebody. Uh, what's going on in this country? Hey, I'll put your seatbelts on. <laughs> what's going on in this country directly relates to the church? Wow. Wow. Ain't no need you looking at them people in the street to shoot and killing one another. And, Looking downtown at the injustices that go on in the court system, no need of us looking at Trump and talking about him and his, you know, uh, wavering. No need of doing that because the buck stops with the church. Yeah. And if you don't believe it, turn in your Bible to First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, seven fourteen. He said, "If my people." which are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn, and turn from their wicked ways. Amen. He said, they will I, I, I hear from them. I'll heal America. I'll heal the land. If we do what we're supposed to do, Amen. God takes care of the rest. Amen. Hello, somebody. I know we like to put the blame on everybody else. That's it, sir. But the buck stops with the church. Yeah. If the church do what's right in the sight of God, well, you know, he, he said, turn, if they turn from their wicked yeah. way, I said you choose to be wicked or you choose to be right. Yes, sir. And he says, if you turn from your wicked way, way and choose to be righteous, God will heal, hear us, and heal us. Yes, sir. And God knows we're a sick nation. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. He wants us to be righteous, not just on Sunday, but every day of the week. Are y'all listening to me? I know we few in number, but that's all right. You supposed to be here to hear this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You the one supposed to be here to hear this. 
You choose to be righteous or you choose to be wicked. Some folk would rather go to a, a shitting dig. Whatever a shitting dig is. <laughs> You'd rather go to a, a, a party, liquor, yeah. drinking, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> then come to the house of Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And right here is where you get your blessing. Among God's people in God's house. But we'd rather stay at home. As if something don't happen at home. Oh, it's, it happens right here. If you, listen, you gotta tune in to what's going on. You can't come to church body and leave your mind and your head at home. Yes, sir. <laughs> When you come with your body, you gotta bring your head too. Amen. Head and heart. Yes, it takes both. Yes, head and heart. Yeah. See, some of some of you don't, won't get happy until I tune up. Right. <laughs> and you see that's just hard. But y'all will tune up with your head. You ought to hear what God is saying yes, to us even now. Yes. This is a song of the righteous. Yes. Uh, he wants us to be righteous every day. And, 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 and it's not braggadocious to claim righteousness. Yes. Because if you have the right understanding theologically, when you talk about righteousness, you're not talking about you, no. but you're talking about Christ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. Christ is the only one that lived a life that was righteous in the sight of God. Yeah. 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 And if we don't embrace him, yeah. we have no righteousness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've got to embrace Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah, I understand my righteousness is just like filthy right? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But this song declares that those who, who are keepers of the covenant yeah. are called the righteous. Yeah. And that because of that standing, I can possess this righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Because of that standing. Yes. My relationship uh -huh. with Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I was going to preach today. I had so many sermons I want to preach today. Another one that I had meditated on was salvation is the inside job. All right. That's how good, sir. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> salvation is the inside job. Yes, amen. So many folks go about what's going on on the outside. All right. That ain't where it's at. It, it happens in here. Yes, sir. Yeah. And if it don't get right in here, I'll never talk right. Yeah. I'll never walk right. Amen. I'll never love right. Yeah. If it doesn't get right in here, yes. not outside, yes, sir. Yes, sir. not dressing a certain way, yeah. that, that ain't going to do it. Uh-uh, giving so much, that ain't doing it, y'all. Right, right, right. It's the inside, it's what goes on on the inside. Yeah. The, the, the prophet said, man looks at the outer, yeah. but God looks at the heart. Yeah. Yeah. He looks at the status of the heart. Yeah. You fool me, but you can't fool God. Yeah. Shall grow like a cedar of Lebanon. 
can see it. Okay. Yes. Right. They can see when you grow. Yes. And guess what? They can see when you don't grow. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And some been coming from church for years. They ain't grow but one hour. Lord have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord. But the psalmist said we're supposed to be like a date tree. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A date palm was a tall, slender tree with uh, with plum like foliage at the top. Does not get its strength from its top. The mm. top is the result of what What's on you the don't side. see. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody said it. It has deep tap roots. Yeah. yeah. Which seek out water in the ground and it's associated with water sources. Yeah. And oasis. Right. Yeah. When we, when we, it suggested my roots are carefully where I seek refreshment from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where I seek strength from. Well. Where I seek growth from. Yeah. And here's what's going on. Amen. Really. Hope we can understand. Every watering hole <laughs> ain't good for you. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bridge pastor. Come on. 
on y'all. No. So not only do I identify with the dig palm tree, but this song says I'm also like a cedar of Lebanon. Yeah. A cedar of Lebanon was a tree that would reach great, would live for great ages. It grew very high and large, and it was a useful tree. Shade for those needing shade. It was durable. It would stand. It was resistant to the insects and the, the bugs that would kill it. They used it for musical instruments too. For pounds, even for coffins. The, the, the cedars of Lebanon was a, even a metaphor for raw power of Egypt. And here's why the psalmist say, I'm like the seed of the Lebanon, because that cedar has been through all kinds of storms. Yes, yes. Yeah, storms and rain, but it still stands. Mm -hmm. We're like the seed of the Lebanon. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We've been through some stuff, yeah. but we're still standing. Some folk leave the church. A lot of folk leave the church. Yeah. But we still stand. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And when you can stand in spite of, yeah. you like a seed of Lebanon. Yeah. Yes, Get me somebody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you like a seed of it. Been through some stuff. Started out a little small, small tree, but it grew. Yeah. Insects tried to kill it. Still yeah, yeah, still yeah, yeah, still growing. Because of its value outside the temple instead of inside the temple, it still stands. Right. Stands. Talks. Are y'all listening to yes, me? Yes. Right. That sounds like some of us in here. We've gone through some stuff, but we're still standing, yes, y'all. We're still standing. Yes, we're still God. trusting in the Lord. We're still believing that God is able yes, to God. take care of us in spite yes. of us. Yes. And because of what you've been through, you're stronger. Uh -huh. Amen. You're wiser. Yes, God. Hallelujah to his name. You're better. Yes, God. And can't nobody just push you over. Some folks you can't say a strong word to. Yeah. They're ready to fight. Yeah. Look at them wrong, man. Ready to fight. I'm leaving church. Right. Yeah. Well, leave. <laughs> Have mercy, Lord. But when you like a flourishing seed of Lebanon, yeah. you got some holy yeah. swag. You got some holy swag. You, yeah. you, you're not trying to be carnal. You just know who your God is. Yeah. And you know what he's able to do. Yeah. And you walk around with your head up. Yes, sir. Not bowed over. Yes, sir. Your head is up. So you know what God is yes, able sir. to do. Yeah. You know what he has done. what he will do. Yeah. Not only are you standing you, you're still growing. Some of us in this room are still growing in the Lord. No matter how old you are. Some folk get old and they say, oh, I'm going to go home and sit down. And that's what they do. They go home and sit down. But this deacon right here has been an example. Amen. Yes, he has. Amen. You don't think he's been through something? Yeah. Just a few days ago, he lost his wife. Yeah. For many years. Yeah. He could have went home and said, and said he ain't coming to church no more. Yeah. Well. But he's still here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. This, this is a tree of Lebanon right here. Yeah. That those who are not planted as a, a cedar tree, but those who are planted in the house of the Lord, 
will form it in the courts of God. You got to stay with the church, y'all. Amen. Amen. You got to stay with the church. Yes, sir. I know the church ain't always pleasant. Not at all. Well. <laughs> but it's more good than bad. That's it, sir. Amen. Amen. Can, can, I, can I take time and tell y'all a story? Take the time, Pastor. You're preaching good. Can y'all, can y'all, can y'all imagine what the ark was like? Woo! With all those animals. Can y'all just imagine elephant, buffalo, hippopotamus? Just name it. Yeah, you name it. Well, they can put out some. But it was better inside the ark yes, sir. Yeah. than it was outside yeah. where it rained 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. It was better to stay inside. It's better to stay in the child. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's better to stay in here. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. What's going on in the world? Some of y'all can't handle that stuff. Amen. You, you, you have a grown spiritually. You, you, you don't have enough knowledge. You need to stay in here. Yes, sir. Amen. To the learn and to continue to grow. Yes, sir. Uh, they can't teach me nothing. <laughs> well, my goodness, you come teach us something then. <laughs> We can't teach you, you come teach us. Right. But we at least we know that it's better to be in right. than it is to be out. Right. You know, some deacons think they done arrived. Right. They don't have to be in teaching class no more. Right. Some don't think they need to be in church school no more. Right. If you don't hear nothing else I say during this sermon, listen. You have not arrived. Amen. Paul, Paul said it. Paul said, I, I, I strive. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, he does. Uh -huh. Paul said, I, I'm still striving. High calling. But God in Christ, I'm still trying to be more now yes, than I was yesterday. Yes, yes sir. You're going to find a place and put it in Paul. Stuff that's going over you. Yeah. Preaching good, Pastor. You're preaching well, I, gotta, I can't unpack it the way I want to. <laughs> yeah. When, when, when I was in when I was in grade school, uh, and, and of course I've seen examples with Iris because she has a green thumb around the house. But uh, when you when you plant certain plants. After a while, when you put them in a, a flower pot, after a while, you have to transplant them. Because that little pot can't hold it. Can't hold. Right. Right. They, can't, they can't strive and We got to give them some more room to, yeah. to grow. Y'all yeah, hear what I'm saying? Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And we, and we had that, they, we taught that lesson when we were in school. The Lord has transplanted us from the paradigm of sin yes, sir. to the paradigm of grace. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 How many think they, they were right? How many think they're perfect? How many think they don't sin no more? I need God's grace every day of my life. I need the grace Amen. of God. Yeah. And, and what 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 has happened when they, they plant a trans transplant, we're like in the house of the Lord. When God moves us, spiritually speaking, to one level to another.
you may you may fall short of where you wanted to be in years past. The Bible said the race is not given. You know what it says. But those that endure, yes, sir. you got to endure. And then lastly, another scripture with regard to this particular thought is he said, forsake not the assembling of yourself together as a matter of something. Forsake not the assembling of yourself together in the house of the Lord. And that much the more you see that they're approaching. We ought to be coming to church now more than we ever. Yes, sir. And I see the need for it, too. Amen. Amen. Uh, text suggests that my flourishing is not physical, yes. but we're talking spiritual. Yes. And since I'm flourishing in the house of the Lord, it's not about physical, it's about what God is doing with me spiritually. Am I right, somebody? Yeah. One young preacher talking to an older preacher, and he said to him, said, now listen, uh, give me some wisdom. Now you've been around here a long time. What, what, what should I be trying to do as a, as a young man growing? He said to him, you ought to be trying to Live to get older. Y'all missed that. I'm flourishing like a tree. I've been planted in the house of the Lord, but then last. Last. I have longevity with the Lord. He said they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Y'all see that? To bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing in old age. You got something to look forward to. Even in getting old. David said, reminds us that the Christian race is not about longevity. No, 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 no. Uh, how 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 shall I do this thing? He said he said live focusing on the time ahead. You don't know how long you're gonna be here. Amen. <laughs> God got a lot more work for you to do. And thank God that we have we've not a promise that we'll live to be a hundred years, but we can be. Amen. Am I right, somebody? We, we have a promise that by the grace of the, the living God, if we stay in the house of the Lord and we keep our hands in the hands of the Lord, that the longer we remain, we will still be productive. We are still supposed to be producing. We will still bring forth fruit in our old age. You, you know what happens, I think, a lot of times, because folk can't do like they used to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They just stop doing anything. Yeah. That's the wrong attitude. Yeah. You can't do like you used to, right. but there are some things that you can still do. Yeah. It's just a matter of whether you're going to do it or not. Yeah. But there is something for you to do. Yeah. You get mad at God, I can't do like I used to. Well, you know, you ain't you ain't the long ranger. Because right. all of us are getting old. Right. Yeah. Got that right. We can't throw in the towel just because we get older. Yeah. God said we still produce until He calls us up out of here. Yeah. Yeah. We will still bring forth fruit right. in old age. You, you see that in the text? I ain't think that up. I'm not saying that. That's what the Bible says. That's what God says. God said we bring forth fruit in old age. We know Deacon Briggs is not physically able to do a lot. But if you sit, take time and sit down and talk to the man, he got something to tell you. 
He can help you through his years of living. He can help you. Wise. Wise people can help us. But I know we're not living in the days of seniors helping the young folk. They still think they can tell us something. <laughs> My little granddaughter tickled me. She tickled me to pieces. Four years old. No, G. Daddy, you don't do it like that. I, I just look at her. Four years old. Trying to tell me what I need to do. But that's the mindset of the people of this age. Don't, don't appreciate the wisdom of the years. And listen to it. But they can tell us something. But believe that our productive years are the ones when you're young. That's what we think, right? Our sports heroes are young folk. They run faster. They shoot longer. They sing louder. They play hard. But God still allows us to produce fruit in our old age. Matter of fact, David said that the spiritually not only will produce fruit, but we will also look like that we have been partaking of the same type of fruit that we have been producing. Is there anybody here that's guilty of not looking like you used to look spiritually? <laughs> is there anybody here that is guilty of not being a Lightweight like you used to look spiritually. I'm glad that since I've been with the Lord, I've been, and I've been with him a good little while now. And I've gone through quite a bit. And I'm pleased to announce that I'm fat. Well, <laughs> fat and, and flourishing. I'm still flourishing. Man. Man. Some of y'all, when I said fat, y'all thought I was talking about my good. <laughs> Spiritually, yeah. you you can't just you 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 it's gonna take more than just what you say to me. You gonna try to upset me? You gotta you gotta get up early in the day. <laughs> You can call me everything but a child of God. Well, you see, the reason it don't bother me because I know who I am. Yeah. 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 It's not what you say about me, but it's what God says about me. Amen. good, Pastor. Some folk is so they so thin skinned yeah. you can't say nothing to them. Some way 400 pounds. And somebody call him fat. Or heavy. They get upset. Look what you getting upset for. They just told the truth. They don't need you getting upset at the truth. But see, that really don't mean nothing. You got to go to the scripture and say, I don't care what you say, God says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. God made me who I am. Yeah. He gave me my appetite. Yeah. Well. Amen. Can't listen to what folks say about you. Amen. 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 I'm talking about spiritual weight. How do I gain weight? Amen. You gain weight by reading the Bible. Amen. You gain weight by loving the church. Amen. And loving God's people. Amen. Loving the fellowship of the church. Amen. You gain weight by praising his name. Amen. You gain weight by singing the song Amen. of God. Yes, sir. Not worried about how you sound, but you singing to the God, to the Lord. Huh? Yeah, that I love to share Jesus with folk that's not Christian, that I 
love to give financially, that I love to serve others, that I, I'm learning to forgive, that I'm open to a, a changing how God speaks to me. That's how you get fat. This is a song for the righteous. Remind myself every day that God is my father and he loves me. Amen. One of these, one of these old days, I'm going to fold up my earthly tent. And I'm going to, I'm going to leave here. And, and I hope, I'm, and I'm praying and I believe that I'm going to the place that Job talked about. Where the wicked shall cease from troubling and the good is going to be at rest. Yeah! Yeah! Everything is going to be something. And will you join me there when I stand before the Lord and be able to thank Him for dying for me? Be able to thank Him. For stand in that grave three days and three nights. Yes, I'm going to thank him. Yeah. And when he got up that Sunday morning, oh. he said, I've got all oh. power oh. in my hand. Yeah. And I'm so glad so that whatever I need, yeah. he got the power, yeah. he got the resource. Yeah. Because the earth yeah. is the Lord yeah. and the fullness thereof. The Philippian writer said, God will supply every one of our needs so we can thank him yeah. for getting up with all power yeah. that he gave up his life yeah. that I might live that I have, might have a right to, to the tree of life. Don't you want to be righteous? Don't you want to be righteous? Or do you want to be wicked? You choose. The choice is yours. Choose ye this day. Who are you going to serve? I'm choosing the Lord. You always make a hundred. But I'm going to keep on saying. Amen. 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 I'm going to keep on All right, keeping on. Amen. Amen. I want to give an well, extended invitation to someone here today yes. that you know you're not right. Not because of what you do or don't do, but because you've not embraced Jesus Amen. Amen. and claimed his righteousness yes. that you might be acceptable with God. Yes. And if you're here today, I want to give you the privilege and opportunity to come and accept Jesus Christ, who is truly our righteousness. Amen. 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 He is our righteousness. That's when you got Jesus, you got everything. Yeah, yeah. You got everything. Amen. You got Jesus. The writer said we are complete in him. Yes. We're complete in him. So, if everyone here today has never accepted Jesus, but you would like to do so, need a church home. The Spirit of God is speaking to you today. Still small boy. You come on. You come on. Need a church home. Need Christ in your life. We invite you to come. We invite you to come.